violating the substance abuse policy, and he's going to be suspended for six games. So there are five more games remaining in the season. That means he has to sit out for those five games and potentially week one uh, for the Houston Texans for the 2021 season. I say potentially because there is no guarantee that he plays for the Houston Texans. Whichever team he plays for, he has to sit out for week one of the 2021 season. He's going to be an unrestricted free agent following this year. So what do the Houston Texans have planned for Will Fuller? And what are Will Fuller's plans? Does he want to return to the Houston Texans? Or does he choose and elect to play somewhere else going into 2021? We have to break it down. Because Will Fuller is a 26-year-old wide receiver. Speed is so good. So good. He finishes the season officially with 55 receptions or 53 receptions, my mistake, 879 yards and eight receiving touchdowns. That was on pace for 77 receptions, 1,279 yards, and 12 receiving touchdowns. And I say on pace because it was a very realistic possibility for that for the first time in his career that he plays all 16 games of an NFL season because he's been injury uh, riddled and injury after injury after injury every single year. And now he was just finally healthy and was just having a year without DeAndre Hopkins as being the number one wide receiver in Houston. And then this happened. So un- unfortunate for Fuller and the Houston Texans are going to be out uh, without him as well. Pretty good numbers, pretty good season. Pro Bowl worthy in my eyes, unfortunately, not with the suspension anymore. But he's set to become an un- unrestricted free agent. The Houston Texans have no choice to but to resign Will Fuller. You have to. You have to. And this is all going back to the mess that Bill O'Brien caused in that Houston Texans organization. I don't know what he was doing. He was playing mad in franchise mode, but he made some trades that were questionable. Got rid of Jadavion Clowney. Got rid of Kenny Stills and or, or acquired Kenny Stills and then Laramie Tensel, which Kenny Stills just recently got released. And then you traded away your best wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. I don't understand. You acquired D- David Johnson. I get it. You acquired Brandon Cooks. I get it. Both are good players when they're having decent seasons, but this is all because of the mess that Bill O'Brien made. The Texans find themselves in a very tough spot. You have to resign Fuller, and that includes giving him whatever amount of money that you want to give him in comparison to the other wide receivers on that team. Brandon Cooks, the top wide out right now for the remaining uh, five games of the season. Five-year, $81 million contract. He's 27 years old. He's going to be sticking around in Houston for at least another four years. Randall Cobb, three-year, $27 million contract, 30 years old. So he's trending towards the tail end of a wide receiver's career, but he signed a three-year, $27 million contract to be in Houston. So uh, he's going to be there for a couple more years. And then Kiki QT is still playing on his rookie contract through 2021. He'll be around next season, but he is 23 years old. And those three wide receivers, that's pretty much it. That rounds it out because you released Kenny still. So that's pretty much not going to do it. You're going to have to retain your best wide out at that point. And that is Will Fuller that you have a future with. You have at least, I would say at this point, maybe three, four, five more good years out of Will Fuller if you were to resign him. But it's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to cost a lot of money. And you have to resign him because you have no draft capital that you, that you can use on a decent wide receiver. Maybe you get a steal in the third round, but you have no first rounder. You have no second rounder. Thanks a lot, Bill O'Brien. So now the Houston Texans find themselves in a very tough spot. So the suspension hurt way more to the Houston Texans than we may realize. But for Fuller, what does that mean for him? That means he can ask for a lot of money from the Houston Texans, and he's going to get paid next season. Absolutely, he's going to get paid. It doesn't matter if he's going to be sitting out week one. Teams are willing to pay for him, and teams have acquired about Will Fuller for, be, prior to the trade deadline this year in 2020, you had the Green Bay Packers who had big interest in Will Fuller. The asking price for the Houston Texans was just way too high because I figured that if they had more draft capital, if they had a first round pick or a second rounder, then they'd be willing to shop Will Fuller for a second round or maybe even a first rounder. But instead, they couldn't because they can't afford to give up their top, their top wideout. So uh, if Will Fuller were to test the free agent market, the Green Bay Packers are a big landing spot for Fuller. Can you imagine Devontae Adams, who's been doing it all this season with Alan Lazard hurt, with Marquez Valdez-Scantling, MVS just not really being or developing into that reliable number two wide receiver. It's just been Devontae Adams, 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 mixture of Aaron Jones here and there, Adams, Adams, Adams. 
Aaron Rodgers has just been feeding him the ball. So I feel like that Will Fuller, if he were to sign with any team, the Green Bay Packers would be one of those top candidates that would pursue Fuller hard. Aaron Rodgers throwing Devontae Adams and Will Fuller. I mean, I don't know. This is premature, but if that were to happen, go ahead and make Rodgers another candidate for MVP in 2021. That's going to be a pretty ball in offense if Will Fuller were to sign with Green Bay. Another team that needs some wide receiver help, Washington, the football team. If you watch your episode of Time to Football where we talked about trade deadlines, we mentioned uh, Washington and the players that they could have acquired prior to the trade deadline. There was Brandon Cooks that was on, uh, on the market. There was Will Fuller that was on the market. There was uh, even John Ross or A.J. Green, the Cincinnati Bengals wide receivers. If you need wide receiver help, there were wide receivers out there and the Washington football team thought about re- uh, acquiring a wide receiver prior to the trade deadline, but instead decided not to make a move. And Will Fuller, if you were to hit that free agent market, the Washington football team would go hard after Will Fuller. I don't even know if they're going to be called the Washington football team in 2021, but they would go after Will Fuller without question. So to pretty much sum it up, you know, chat with us, interact with us. What do you feel like the Texans should do at this point? Do you think that they should just cough up whatever amount of money that Will Fuller and his agent are asking for? Because you're in a tough spot and the agent knows that as well. So they're going to they're gonna have to pay him if you want to keep your top wide out. Or do you feel like the Texans should move on and just use, if you were to move on with Will Fuller and not give him that big contract, you're going to have to treat 2021 as a yet another rebuilder year. Maybe you can get it done with Brandon Cooks as your top wide out. I'd, I don't know. I don't know. But if Will Fuller were to move on, which team do you feel like uh, has the best chance to sign him in free agency uh, moving into 2021?